Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start rebooting work using your path. In today's session, we are going to discuss about post request method. So let me understand so, how the post request method will work. So what are the parameters which need to be passed for this? This post request which help you to send the data to the API server. So we have to add the parameters and along with the values. So in this way, you can pass the data to the API servers. So we are going to use the test sites which are already used on our GET request. So I hope you have watched the GET request. So it will be helpful to extract the data from the API. So in today's session, we are going to push the data to the API server. So let me enter our test site URL. Let me click on enter. So this is the test sites which are used on our previous session as well. So which we are used on our GET method. On today's session, we are going to check about the POST method. So let me click on POST. So once you clicked on post, you can see something called as API slash users. So which is a nothing but a hyperlink. So which help you to traversal to the each and every data so that you can view those data as well. So let me right click and open a new tab. So it will throw each and every data over here. So you can see so many data, right? So you can see ID, email, and then first name, last name. So what I'm going to do here. So we are going to pass the data. Let me go back to our site. So here you can see, right? So the response, you have to get 201. So which is nothing but the response which are pushing the data to the API server. So once the API server got your data, so it will acknowledge it as 201. So this is the mock data which is frauded by the server. So what are you going to do? So we have to pass the parameter and we are going to replace this values. So which is nothing but the name and job and the IDs. So we are going to use this site along with the parameters so that our values can be replaced over here. So let me copy this URL. So let me show you once again where I have made that. So once I clicked on post, you can see something called like this. So what I have to do, so you have to right click and open a new tab. Let me go here, let me copy the URL. Perfect. Let me switch back to the UiPath Studio. This is the workflow which I used in a previous session. What I will do now, so I'll just make a comment out. The same thing which you are going to repeat now. Let me look for the HTTP request. Let me drag and drop here. So here you have to provide an endpoint, right? So which you have copied from the site. Let me paste it over here. Once you have paste your endpoint, so your preview will be auto-populated. So here you have to change the request method to post now. Perfect, right? And then, so as I said before, so you have to pass your parameter so that you can send your data to the API server. So these are the parameters you can pass it as. Let me switch back to the UiPath Studio. Let me click on parameters. So here you can see so many things, right? So in this, you can use your add parameter to pass the value to the API servers. Let me switch back to the site. Let me copy this name and then go here, paste order and then job. So if you want to add one more parameter, so just try to click on add parameters, we click on jobs, and then ID, right? So these are the three parameters which I was want to pass on this. So what I'll do, so I'll just provide my values. So I'll just make it as jvignesh, and then job as a RPA dev, and then ID as a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What actually will be happen on background now? So we are going to push this data to the API server so that we will be getting a response name equal to jvignesh and then job or pdf and then id as a 12347. So likewise, so what actually happening in the background? So we are pushing our data to the API server. API server getting those response and acknowledging it as a 201 so that it can fix those data with the bookmarks which it has. So we are going to replace this mock data now. Let me go here. Let me click on OK now. So you're done with our H3 request. What do you have to do next? So you have to create your output variable, right? Let me scroll down here. Let me go back here. Control K. And then let me name it as personal data. So what your name you want to keep? You can keep it over there. There is a typo. I just clicked on 4. So what I'll do, I'll just rename this now. Perfect. And then so as we discussed on our previous session, so why we are going to use decentralized here? So we know that, so this is not a readable format, right? The data which are captured, 
so it should be not in a readable format to make it in a readable format in a distance structure so we are going to use our decentralized now so let me go to the UA path look for decentralized we drop drop here and try to pass the input which is nothing but personal data and try to create an output variable control key and then so object data so the whatever name which is convenient for you, you can go ahead and keep those let me click on ok so we have to make a visibility right so you can use the right line to visible the data so let me call the variable object dot to string so as we already know that so only we can print a string in the right line so we are making the object into string now dot to string click on save let me try to debug this now yeah so what actually the desired output should be so we should get our name under the name and then employee id as well as the job so i hope our execution is done now so let me click on output panel perfect right so we can able to see name javignesh and then job so which is rpa dev and then id so which is the id which i have given over there so what actually happened over here so we have pushed our data to the api server and api server acknowledged with us with the 201 response along with the output which we have now so likewise you can post your data to the api server using the post method so the only thing you have to make sure is so you have to pass the valid parameter so that you can pass your data to the api server and you can get done of those data so I hope you have got ideas how to pass the data to the API server now. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. Have a good day.